This is Carla Nay. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a seamless design where the main focus of the image isn't scattered all around like it normally does when you use the tile parameter in Midjourney. So I've been working on this technique for several days and I was going to make a YouTube video on it and then I saw, before I got a chance to make the YouTube video, I saw in Midjourney prompt tricks on in the Facebook group that somebody was actually asking how to do this for a tumbler wrap designs, which is what I've been working on this method for my own tumbler wrap designs to sell on Etsy. Alright, so the lady Candace Gates posted this image of these beautiful owls and she wanted to know how to get the left and right side seamless so that she could wrap it around a tumbler. When you go into Mid Journey, I'm going to copy her prompt here. All right, I already have her image uploaded here. And if you want to know how to upload an image on Mid Journey, you just go down here. Let me delete this. And you click this plus sign and go to upload a file and then find your file on your um, wherever you have it saved on your computer and then upload it. And then you can use that to help. Uh, tell Mid Journey the style that you're similar style that you're wanting in your image. I'm not going to use this right now. I'm going to actually type in her prompt. Now she was wanting it to be. Let me go back here. She's wanting it to be 2795 by 2100. And she was also wondering how to get the aspect ratio, and she said 16.9 was the closest, but you can literally, you can put anything in. So you can actually just put this in, or you can reduce it down, and which when you reduce it down, I think it's 93.70. And I'm just going to copy this, put that in there, because it's literally the same thing. Take out the X and put in, you want the colon there. All right, so... If she's wanting this tile, the reason she can't use tile alone, I'm just going to hit this here. If you put in your prompt and you put in tile at the end, dash dash tile, when it generates the image, you'll see here in a little bit, that it's going to create a random pattern of owls all over your image and they're going to be cut some of them are going to be cut off on the left and right and at the top and it just looks really cluttered and what she wants to do is she wants to keep the owls in the center of the image but have the left and the right seam to match up only now that our image is generated when you click on it, you can see this is why when you use the tile parameter in Midjourney that this is not a good option for tumbler wraps. This might be a good option for if you were doing an all over print blanket or something. But for a tumbler wrap, you want the left and side seams to be seamless, but you want your image to be centrally focused. The first one here actually did that. And that's really unusual. Usually they show up how the rest of these are, where the thing, your image that you're wanting to be the central focus is just cut off, not in the center. All right, so how do we fix this? Or how do we create an image that will work on a tumbler to sell? All right, so in order to keep the design with the same look and feel, I'm going to copy the URL of this image. So I'm going to right click here on my Mac and I'm going to go copy image address and I'm going to go back down here. You do not have to do this. This is just so that I can try to get the same look and feel as her image. All right, so I'm going to type that in. Now I'm going to copy prompt here that she had and I'm going to put a space Let's give me a period I'll be careful about that and 
type in the prompt. Okay, so I still want to put tile at the end here. I had I could have copied that, but I didn't. All right, so I can keep this prompt exactly how she has, which is going to give me the owls, and that's perfectly fine because you can get those, you can erase those later, um, or you can try to get your background without the owl. So you could try to write a prompt that would just give you the flowers and the trees and everything that you want without the owls. But for, I'm just going to go ahead and keep her prompt exactly how she has it. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay, now Mid Journey is generating the image. And you can see it started to give me the owls in the center. But because I've got the tile parameter at the end, it's now trying to tile it. And as you can see, this is creating clutter. All right, now when you click on this, you can see here we have the owls, same problem, they're all cut off. And this one here, the third one, third grid, is probably going to be the one that we're going to want to work with. Um, and the reason is because on the left side and the right side, there's no owl. And that's kind of what we're aiming for with this method. We want to, we want it, because right now this image is tiled. The left is tiled to the right here. If you were to put this on a seamless, if you were to put this in Photoshop to look at the seams or put it on a tumbler, um, anything that would allow you to look at this as a tile, it would be tiled on the top, the bottom, the left, and the right. But our owls are not in the center. And when you're doing a tumbler or type of design like that, product like that, you want your owls to be in the center. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to upscale the third one here. All right, now when we click on this, we can see this a little bit better. There's no owl here on the right and there's no owl on the left, but we want to get our owls in the center. So what we're going to do now, and this is the where the method that I created because I've been trying to do this for my own Tumblr wrap designs that I'm selling on Etsy. All right, so we're going to click on Very Region. Now remember, you this only works if you've already tiled your image because you want your left and your right to be tiled. And if you're doing other types of designs, you would also want your top and your bottom. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to, with either the rectangle or the lasso, we're going to cover all remnants of this of all the owls here. And I went all the way down to the bottom because on a tumbler wrap, the top and the bottom does not need to does not need to be seamless. And now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to cover this owl. Now when you're doing this, be careful not to go all the way to the right edge. Or if you're doing, if you're over here on the left side, don't go all the way to the left edge. And you want to make sure you get all. You don't want to like go like this. You want to make sure you get all of the L. And you want to leave something over here on the right side. Now because he go, his tail I think goes all the way down. I'm going to go ahead and up here. I'm going to just go like this, just in case there's a piece of his tail that I'm missing. And you want to make sure that if you're you know, looking at your top and your bottom to get all remnants of the owl. Now what you want to do is you want to make another rectangle where you want your center focus. I'm sorry about my dog barking. And we're going to put this right in the center. If you were doing this without, if you were doing this without generating the owls in the tiled image, like if you had just done this prompt with a uh, flowers and branches on a black background or whatever and it didn't contain the owls you would just have to make your rectangle right in the center you wouldn't have to cover anything up but because we went ahead and used her exact prompt that had the owls in it then we want to cover up anything in the image and also if you just when you're doing this maybe you don't like the way that this particular maybe this looks like some of these look like they don't look like flowers. They look like oranges or something. So you could even go in here and, you know, cover up some of these. You want to keep some so it knows that you're trying to 
um, get an orange color, but you can go in here and anything that looks that you want changed, just kind of cover it up. Just make sure that you don't go cover up anything on the left or right seam. All right, now down here in your prompt, um, you want to remove tile and you want to remove your aspect ratio. And you can keep the prompt exactly the same, even with your URL, or you can completely erase this and you could just type in owls or whatever else you want. So maybe you created a background that was just a, a floral, a pastel floral background and then you want to put your rectangle in the center and maybe you want to put um, a snowman in there. Then you could, comp the you know, the prompt on your very region does not have to be the same. But for this case, I actually am going to keep it the same because I want to try to get the same image. I just want the owls in the center. All right, so now we're going to hit enter and see what happens. Our new image is generating, and you can see that the owls are focusing in the center of our designs. And these are four grids, so these are four different designs. But because we tiled the image to begin with before we did very region, you can see that the, t the, the left and right seams are matching up. So let's click on this. And that's a way we can actually test that it actually did tile. So the image is tiled here. So this is what the center of your um, Tumblr wrap will look like, the back side of your Tumblr when it's printed. And you have your pretty owls right in the center. And you can go back in and like it gave us peaches here for some reason. So we could go back in and we could use very region again on these and we could like fix anything that we do not like in these images. Um, now see, you can see uh, where I had went all the way down where we covered up the first owl and at the top. And so this is not going to be a seamless pattern on the top and bottom because we changed it in that area. But on, you can see that where we did not cover up the owl on the top and the bottom, it actually is a seamless pattern. But because this is a Tumblr design, this does not matter that the top and the bottom is not seamless. We just needed to get the left and the right seamless. And you can see that the left and the right are seamless. So let's try something a little more complex. Um, I saw this prompt or a similar prompt in one of the Facebook groups. I don't know if it was Mid Journey Prompt Tricks or Mid Journey Official or another group, but it was in a group like that. And the prompt that they were using was a little different. They had um, a lion swimming in the water with, I think, a fish in its mouth or something, and I just put underwater because I think it does the same, has the same effect. And so that prompt gives this type of image here. But the problem is that the seams on the left and the right are not going to match up when you do, um, you know, any type of image like this. So we want to try to get something like this, but we want our left and our right to match up. You would think, um, well, how am I going to get some an image like this onto a Tumblr wrap and have it be seamless without having to do a lot of Photoshop work? So to use the same technique that I've been illustrating to get this more uh, realistic image, um, you want to first create a background, just like we've done before, but you want your background this time to be uh, more in the style of this more realistic, um, well, hyper-realistic type of thing. Um, so I'm going to go with the second one here. Um, I could also go with the um, first one here, but th the problem with tile, um, when I did the tile, it sometimes wants to put half the image on top and half the image on the bottom, and um, that creates a little bit of an issue. Um, it probably wouldn't be that noticeable that this is the bottom and the top is on the bottom, but um, the second image is really nice and um, 
really any of these would work, but for this purpose, I think that the second one has more of the, it has the water, the reflections, it has more of the look. So we are going to upscale the second one here. And just like we did before, we want, to, we have our background that we've tiled. And now we're going to click very region, but this time we're going to go over most of it and only leave a little bit on the left and the right. And this is very important to leave it on the left and the right because this is what will tile it. Okay, so now I want now I want to put in my prompt that I that my modified prompt from the group and I want to take out the aspect ratio. So it's a lion is swimming in the water underwater in the south celebrity celebrity photography for short and please. Now let's see what this does. I I'm using the tiled image of the underwater scene and I have I clicked on very region and then I put in my new prompt a lion is swimming in the water and as you can see on the left and right edges as it's generating here you know it's keeping that tiled and it's only changing the middle section now when this pops up we'll see okay click on this now when you look at the middle here, um, not the top and the bottom, because remember I went all the way up to the top. Anytime you go all the way to the edge, it's going to break your seamless pattern. But if you look at the set first and second image here and the third and fourth image, you can actually see what the um, seamless area is going to be. Now for some reason on number three, it gave this weird looking hand type thing. So that will only show up on number three. So we and number three wasn't a good image anyway. But um, if you can see here, it gave us the lion you know, underwater, you know, looking toward the camera, and it gave us the seamless pattern. And in the middle here, you can actually see between one and two what the scene will look like. Now I don't particularly like any of these generations. Um, I may have taken off, um, I may have covered too much of an area with my um, prompt, um, so, and then it gave me some weird things, so I'm going to regenerate this, and that's the, you know, the beauty of this, you can keep redoing it, you don't, you're not stuck with what you get, and I could even take any of these images and hit very region again, and, um, you know, add in, like, take out the weird hand, and add in it, you know the legs but I'm actually going to just regenerate this prompt but this time I'm going to leave a little bit more I'm going to take this out but then I'm going to come in more oh I forgot I want to actually go all the way to the top so I'm going to go like about right here and I'm going to leave more of the side and let's see what happens if I leave more of the side my prompt's already there because I did it last time. So let's see what happens now. This time, remember, I took out off less of the sides. So it's going to retain more of my underwater scene that I first created. And as it's generating... We can see um, it's already, I feel like it's already doing a little bit better. Okay, so let's bring these up bigger and see what we got. And yeah, I mean, these are much better. And so you just have to kind of play around with it. But in, if you look here on between image one and two and image three and four, you can actually see the way the seam is going to be. And, um, you know, these are much better. And, you know, these are going to look really good on a, on a, Tumblr wrap. And remember though that you know you're only going to be putting either one or two on there. So even though you can kind of see how the seams go together, it's not going to be exactly um, you know this it's not going to be like this lion plus this lion. You know, if like I think I'd choose number one here and so it, it's going to have, the Tumblr wrap is going to have this lion and then but when you get to the back of the image it's going to be um, all the way up to until where this next, uh, you know, where I covered up the square on the very region or whatever. But you can kind of see 
you know, right here in the center, you can see how the seam will match up because I left more of the uh, underwater seam. And you can see it in the top and the bottom here that it's, um, you know, how the back side of the tumble wrap is going to look. So I think I would go with, on this one, number one looks good and number four looks good. Um, if I did very region again on number two or number three, I could probably get, um, you know, the legs coming out or something. But I'm not going to do that because I think number one looks really nice. One more example. And I went ahead and I already made my background with detailed flowers, floral pattern, beautiful black gold metallic, my aspect ratio that I want, and I've got my tile parameter. And I have these four images, and I'm going to pick, and you can see that it's tiled, and I'm going to pick the first one here. And so I'm going to upscale that one. <clears throat> All right. So now I'm going to hit very region and I am going to put a square in the center because I want to keep my floral pattern around all four edges and then I want to take out detailed flowers and I want to put in detailed lion and I want to take out floral pattern because I've already got that and I've got beautiful black gold metallic because I want a metallic detailed lion so I might put metallic lion and then take out the one at the back here so I've got detailed metallic lion beautiful black gold and I'm going to go ahead and generate this and see what happens So I am now generating, with my floral background, a metallic, beautiful lion here. And I'm getting four different images. And while we're waiting on this, I'm going to try one other thing real quick. Well, actually, this just popped up. So, all right, so now I've got a beautiful, seamless pattern. And you can actually see by looking at all four of these lines that if you are wanting to do a seamless pattern that had four different images you could actually take this grid that has your four different examples and you could actually save this grid and upscale it or you could save each of these four individual images and put them together and upscale them separately if you wanted them each larger and then you could actually have a really interesting pattern that has like alternating four images. All right, so the other thing I wanted to show you was if I take this very region and I were to put in a instead of detailed metallic lion, I'm going to put in detailed metallic gold flower a detailed metallic gold flower beautiful black gold so and I'm going to actually I want for this example I'm going to actually make my square a little bigger because I'm going to be I'm going to do a layering technique with this um, method All right, so let's let that generate and while that's generating let me look at these four here and the fourth one here, I really like it, but I feel like the face could pop a little bit more. So I'm going to upscale that one while we're waiting here. And then I'm going to hit very region. And I'm going to give him a different face. I'm going to say detailed metallic lion with... green eyes all right so here I told it to give me a detailed metallic gold flower beautiful black gold and it gave me these four images and I really it looks like number four or number three um, I'd probably play around with this a little bit because I don't particularly um, 
like all these, but I'm going to go ahead and go with number four to show you what I'm talking about layering. All right, so let me upscale number four. <clears throat> And that's interesting. I can see it did not do my green eyes on my line right. But all right, so I'm going to click very region on my flower. And so we made our tiled background. So this image is going to be tiled. Then we did very region and we made a metallic gold flower in the center. Now I'm going to make a smaller square. And then I'm going to change metallic gold flower to lion. And then we'll take out all this aspect ratio stuff. And I'm also going to take out black gold, just might be what is making it darker. So I got detailed metallic gold lion, beautiful. Let's see what that does. Alright, so now we see the newest generation coming up here where um, I made the background that was a tile, then I varied it and then I put a metallic flower in the center of the image. And then I went and I did very region again and now I am putting a lion inside of the flower. And let's see what happens here. All right, and um, the first one's pretty cool. I like that one. But so that just shows you how that you can use this technique to create um, a layered image. And you could do this like several uh, you know, times, like just make your bigger square, like after you make your tiled background, and then you go to very region, make a bigger square, put what you wanna, your next, uh, layer that you want on and then after you get the one you want then go in and make a smaller square and then type in what you want and then you know you can keep going until you uh, have a whole bunch of layers on top of each other using this technique and then it's all going to be seamless because you started out with the tile parameter and so you still have your you have your focus in the center here which tile won't give you but by using very region with the tile parameter afterward, then you're able to create, you know, a really cool tiled pattern that has a central focus and not random, you know, your 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 subject of your image not being randomly scattered across the edges, which you know can look good in some designs, but not the these types of designs where you want your topic your subject to actually be right in the center then this is like you know a really good method that you can use um, well I hope this video um, was helpful to somebody to be able to figure out how to create seamless tumbler wrap designs or seamless tumbler designs or any type of product that you need a seamless pattern where you don't want the images to be randomly spread out along the edges and chaotic but more centralized into the center. Thank you very much for watching my video. Bye!